another lot tutorial and this time I am working backwards this is the finished product I wanted something where it wasn't pinned up or in a bun I just wanted to have it hang loose for a change and here's a 360 here's what I did I sectioned off about two or three rows of locks for the front and this is going to become your side waterfall swoop and just put that to the side. I just sectioned off a top portion of my head. And that's where I created these finger rolls. I took about, I took three strands of locks and started towards the end and took my two index fingers and began rolling it. back towards my head. And then once I got to the base, I just took a hairpin and secured that roll. And I'll do another one. Three locks started towards the end. Now this section is uneven. So it's going to be a little bit harder to roll. So I started a little further up from the end to accommodate this short piece. Base, just go ahead and secure it with the pin. And that's pretty much all I did for the top. And I made about 12 to 13 finger rolls at the top. Next I took the front portion of my hair and sweep it towards the side. Take a small rubber band, secure the ends. And just sweep it back to create that nice little I call it like a waterfall this is one way you can wear it if you don't mind the hair coming across your forehead then just leave it and take a hairpin and secure the ends. And what I'm doing, I'm stuffing the ends into the finger rolls so they won't show as much. And then pinning it down. And 
and you can take the back and swing it to the side and there's one look here's a 360 Or you can wear it how I had it in the beginning of the video where the um, the front portion is not so much on your forehead and all I did was just flip the front portion back onto the finger rolls And that's just a slight variation of the style. But that is it. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep it natural. Keep it locked. Keep it